Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and on our trip to Peru, where we went to visit Machu Picchu, on the way there were some other sites, and this site is Moray. And it's nothing more than if you look down in a big hole, it's like a little stadium, where you can look down there, and it's just a bunch of little drywalls. It could have been used for farming, and I think they're using it for farming experiments then. And then it could be used for like a little stadium thing if you wanted to, but I think farming. And it's really not that big. I have a little video when we're actually down there, so that's coming up now. Well, we're at this site, and we're looking at the retaining walls. And again, I always tell you, water's going to go over the top, and you got to put a big lean on it. Okay, don't know if these steps are up to code, but they work. And this is the little group I went with. And the next site we're going to go, which is going to be hard to pronounce, Tamboy Mache. That was another one we visited not too far from Cusco. And it's just uh, the same as if you went to Sacha Skowayan. And it's like just a little development or something they had. It's not really a big deal. All the stones that we visited from Mano Picchu and then down in Cusco were basically all the same. Some were smaller, some were bigger. Being a stonemason to me, they just kind of beat on them until they got them to shape, which I've done some uh, little demonstrations on that. And then we move on. Now this is another site where I'm going to murder the name, Pucapapara. And it was like a little fortress up in the middle of nowhere. It was like an outpost made out of stone. What I noticed most about it was it was just like a castle. And when you got to the sides, they did it real refined and then they just filled it in with junk. And up on top, you could see it's just filled in. And on the sides and on the doorways, you could see where it's like a castle where they put the real refined stones. On this scene coming up right here, you could see how it was refined. And right here they filled in on top just to keep the weeds from growing. So it was another little visit we did. And then we come to another site. And I think they call this Cueco. There's a lot of different definitions when you look it up on the internet. And it overlooks the town of Cusco. As a matter of fact, when you could see it right there in the distance. Standing on top of that. And you look down into it. And it's like all carved out rock. And it looks like at one time it was real soft and they carved it out of there and they used it for something else. Being a stonemason, that's the way I kind of look at it. It's uh, uh, something I can't really put my finger on when or what they did there. And then there's a little bridge you kind of walk across and uh, you can leave the site from. And then we were up at a town with a monastery in it and... Uh, can't really tell you what the name of the town is but we got up there it was pretty high up in the hills and they have much of the same stonework and uh, I just wanted to put this video out and that's our group we were with and I'm gonna leave you with some pictures thanks for watching I'm Mike Haddock until next video